before we had to stop for uh, for sorting the small parts, uh, we had to stop for several reasons. Now with all the transfer system and the small part sorting, we don't need to stop uh, the operation as often. Also, the operators are not as busy walking around, more oriented towards working with the machine. Currently installed here at Canam, we have a, a beam line which consists of a V633 a drill unit combined with a split a VB1250 a saw. Well, my name is Félix Belanger. Uh, I'm a project engineer here at uh, Canam Bridge. Canam is a as you may know, is a big group uh, with multiple uh, plants and sites uh, over the world. Here we mostly concentrate on the, on the bridge building side of the operation. Well, we've been known for one of the big projects, which was uh, the Champlain Bridge down in Montreal, but currently the main project in the shop is the Gordiao International Bridge, which will connect uh, Windsor to uh, Detroit in the United States. It's not rare for us to build girders that have flanges of uh, over 100 millimeter thick and can weigh uh, as much as 50 or over even over 50 metric ton. Of course, we make no compromise on quality, so all the parts that leaves here needs to be 100% within the standards that we want to establish in the industry. The machine gives us an outstanding quality in the parts that we need to realize. It has a great versatility, so we, we can either work on, uh, on angles and then beams and then square tubes. Almost all of our products are unique, so we need to be able to switch programs uh, quickly and we need to, to change uh, the raw material quickly that it needs to be done. And this machine gives us uh, that ability. One of the main benefits for us for, with this equipment is the possibility you know, to machine copes inside of the beam. In that way we can save a lot of time that uh, else would be by either marking manually and then cutting with a grinding tool instead of using the machine for that. And also one of the other main advantages is the, is the, the transfer section from the, on the conveyor, which uh, gives us the possibility to run more beam into the drill unit and then after proceed to the, the sawing of them. We want to avoid as much as possible as a, as a scrap to, to put the scrap apart. Features like the validation of the saw before doing the first cut and stuff like that to adjust the offset. Make sure that we don't, we don't throw a part that could, could have been good into the garbage. Well, definitely there's an advantage with this X or sub X axis by not having the, the part move, moving in the same time that you're machining. It's, it gives us the possibility to machine more than one side at a time. When the notch needs to be bigger or the machining needs to be longer, you always have the possibility to have your other axis by moving the beam while machining too. So it gives us a great versatility with this equipment. The automation is good. We can accumulate some material outside of the drill and then wait until to feed them into the saw. If we have a rush with the drill and we have a good operator on the drill, we can optimize that uh, portion of the operation and then after, come afterward and finish the job off with the saw. The team at Vorbman have been really proactive. They've been listening and they try to work in the same direction as us to move forward as a company and be a satisfied client uh, with this type of equipment.